You know, talk shows aren't what they used to be anymore. I mean, I get so annoyed now just seeing the same person sit up on a thing just like this and just begin to just blab, 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 blab about celebrity gossip. We know it already. We've seen it already. It gets played out. They get the guests to promote their products and we're like, blah, blah, blah. But something, you know, hit me the other day and I said to myself, you know, if I'm going to complain all day about why talk shows aren't as good as they used to be, maybe I should just have one of my own. So Philly Cam was nice. We got together with some great people and now I do have a show. It's called Earnestly Speaking. And this time, instead of for me having a special guest or calling people to come up on stage and be surprised and give away giveaways, no, we're not doing giveaways. But, but what we are going to do is we're going to have people in the audience, you know, randomly challenge me about the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And they're going to hold me accountable. And my live audience is going to be actually, you know, my special guest. Because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that, you know, pop culture keeps slipping on. Like, you know, feminism, sexism, racism, all those things. We're going to talk about real issues that you're talking about at home at the water cooler. Or at the table. Or with your friends that you're texting about, you're tweeting about, you're Skyping about, you're arguing about. That's the kind of stuff that should be real TV. That's what a talk show should be about. And that's, you know, why I'm going to keep on, you know, earnestly speaking. I hope to see you on the other side. Enjoy.